We're arriving at the small industrial port of Shimizu. We're mainly here to see Mount Fuji, which is known worldwide and often featured in photos. It's early in the morning and Mount Fuji is just a faint shape in the haze on the horizon. This is the first time that Royal Caribbean has come to this town and the local officials, they're here welcoming us with a small ceremony exchanging gifts with our ship's captain and senior officers. Good morning from Shimizu, uh, Japan. We just got off the ship and there's all kinds of chartered tours going out. There's a welcoming party. There's taxis you can hire, uh, chartered taxis to take you there to go see the mountain. We're gonna walk around right now because the mountain's a little bit hazy and after it clears up, then we might be able to get a little bit better view of that. An hour and a half with the taxi is about $8. And you get an hour and a half with the taxi, he'll wait for you or she will wait for you while you're getting the viewpoint. Shimizu, Japan, is known for Mount Fuji. This is where everybody comes to view the mountain. It's in the distance right now and it's kind of hazy, so we're going to wait until later and hopefully the haze will burn off and we'll be able to get some better views. Still has uh, snow on the top, which is really neat, but that's why everybody comes here for the views of the mountain. We were reading about the S Pulse Dream Plaza, which is just a shopping mall. And it's if you want to go there, it's just like not even a block from the ship. So it's a very small town and it's super easy to walk around. There's a variety of different boats that you can take across the bay to the beach area. And apparently there's some better views of the mountain there too. Not expensive, three, four dollars short ride across. It's early, it's 9.30. People are still waiting to open. Sightseeing boat. That ship's his name after you. <laughs> Looks old. It probably does tours, I would imagine. Oh, the cherry blossoms are over there. That might be a nice park to walk over. All in there. We have to get over there, this way. The harbor is extremely nice. One thing that we've been noticing in Japan everywhere is that it's spotlessly clean. Everything is tidy. I mean, look at this walkway. It's beautiful. And they have a little amusement park here for the kids. They use those Ferris wheels a lot of time for the icon of the city. They go really slow, like one hour to go all the way around, kind of like their clock. It's really peaceful here. Relaxing, peaceful spring day. The cherry blossoms are really pretty and they're just falling. So if we were another week later, probably wouldn't have them here. Everybody's taking pictures of them too. It's gorgeous. It's snowing cherry blossoms. <laughs> it's beautiful. Basically, other than, uh, other than looking at the mountain, the town of Shimizu is an industrial port and, a, and an industrial uh, town. Yeah. Outside. Wow. 
The smoking area, you have to go in those little booths, even outside, so there's no smoking in public, period. Interesting. There's no cigarette butts anywhere, either. If you look down on the sidewalk, everywhere that we've walked throughout Japan, there is not a single piece of garbage, no cigarette butts, nothing at all. It's spotless, they clean everywhere. Uh, we're not sure where they clean it and when they clean it, but it's being cleaned some, somehow. After the hustle and bustle of Tokyo and these big cities, it really is nice to be able to just walk around in a quiet local town, Shimizu. It's a weekday too, but it's very relaxing. It's, it's fun. I'm enjoying this more sometimes than the busy cities. They all have their own charm, but this is fun. You definitely get a better feel for uh, Japan when you're kind of outside the city and just see how, what it's like. Yeah, this is a major, major town for tuna. That's right, we did, we read about that. So uh, I don't know what kind of tuna actually, but they're famous for the tuna fishing here. This is the real Japan, yeah. There's everything is, nothing's translated in English. This is the real Japan, yeah. Look at those old wood boats. Oh, that's what we saw this morning. The, this guy, he tows these guys out. He drags these, these boats out. We saw them this morning. And then he, that's like the mothership. He drops them off and then they do their thing. So we can see the view of the mountain all over the city. And here we can actually explore the town. So I'm kind of glad we chose to do this. Everybody has a different choice of what they want to do. And for some reason, I like to walk around town more than being on a, being on a tour. They're not, look at the cigarettes of the world. Which way, Zarko? Cigarette shop. Imported. <laughs> this looks like your typical J Japanese neighborhood in, the, in this town. You're gonna absolutely love this translation. It's so, I think, Japanese because they're such nice, sweet people. But listen to this. When you have, when you have felt thirst in your heart, you're in need of an oasis for quench your thirst. Your heart are thirsting for a good feeling of place. <laughs> I love it. It's so, it's so Japanese. Japanese. Oh yeah, he's towing them out and separating them and they're snorkeling. That's exactly what they're doing. They have to to get the, the, that, uh, those clams and abalone and... You know, we, we saw over there where those things that were sticking out of the water, maybe those were oyster beds. There's the ship right there. <laughs> So you want to know how the streets are getting cleaned right here. You clean it in front of your own street, scrub your street. Oh, he's got garbage there. Maybe that's why, but still, he's cleaning it. They take a lot of pride. Yeah, it's smoked. Well, you couldn't do that in the States, have that outside like that, the streets. <laughs> well, they would think it's unsanitary, I guess. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, 
canned fish. Look at, look at all the canned fish. Isn't that the tuna? Yeah, all kinds of tuna. Wow. It's all tuna, Zarko. Gosh, the way it's laid out, it looks like a um, gourmet. I don't know what anything is. <laughs> but the packaging is beautiful. Grab stuff to go. Look at sushi. Wow, what a what a grocery store, huh? Oh, you can buy it and microwave it right there. You even have outdoor seating. Okay. Oh, and here you order it, you pay it in a machine. Oh, look at this, Zarko. Zarko. Yeah, What's that? Oh, it's rice and it looks like eggs. Oh, well, there's your shrimp. That's a lot. Well, they have, they're different. One's fried rice, this one's tempura. They specialize. This one's soups. Fancy stores. Look at the shelving. Want a gelato? <laughs> Fresh harvest, crafted from locally sourced fruits. Look at it. They have shrimp flavored gelato, kiwi yogurt, ginger, strawberry, two different kinds of strawberry, actually. Green tea. Green tea, I'll try the green tea. And a roasted green tea. Salt. Salt. It's salt. Uh, yozu and tea, yozu and tea, whatever that is. Japanese plum, that'd be good. Olive oil, never heard of that. Lemon, I think that's some kind of chocolate. Different kinds. Okay, I'll, I'll try that. This is our gelato that we ordered here, and look how they served it. <laughs> so, so artistic. Perfect little balls. Yum. <laughs> We'll see what, what it tastes like. That's what you want. Well, goodbye, Shimizu. Our one day here was great. We're selling away and tomorrow morning we'll wake up in Osaka. Join us in the next video as we explore this city.